Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Velen, and this is Nature's Aura. Today we'll be covering mechanical devices. And before we get into it, though, as usual, I feel I need to thank some of my patrons. In this case, we're going to be thanking Goon124. Thank you very much for your support. It's always appreciated. So, I showed you the chapter, but that's not all that we're going to cover. There there might be a little bit something extra in there that we, we cover as well, but we're more or less going to be covering these items here. So, to start off with, let's let's go with the simple stuff. The item grounder, which as you can see, the recipe is very basic. It is a very basic device. It's simply, uh, when placed down and given a redstone signal to turn on or off, will allow you to not pick things up. For example, this is nearby. If I try picking it up, it won't let me. Instead, you see the little red glow. If I turn this off, I can therefore pick things up like normal. Now, you might think, well, what, what good is that? If I can't pick things up, do I have to always flick a lever or something? No, you don't. You can still pick it up. You just sneak and you pick it, pick things up like you normally would. So it's just kind of like a, a way of automatically not accidentally picking things up or if people are wandering by your area and you're having things drop down from things like chutes or hoppers or whatever dispensers, droppers, and so on. Uh, you don't want people picking those up when they get too close. Well, this will definitely help you out. <laughs> so that is probably the most basic one we have there. Now we can continue on. I have mentioned an aura detector before. We're going to be using this in a construction as well as an adept hopper. The item grounder all combined together with the automatic constructor, which basically is auto crafting for magic, but in a, a little bit larger of an area. And I don't know, it, it makes things look a, a lot cooler in my opinion, but yeah. So it's an auto crafter, but probably more for mass creation, something that you want it to constantly keep doing over time or whatnot. But if you continue to do so, as most things do in nature's aura, you might deplete the aura around or reduce it to a bad state. Obviously, you don't want to do that. There are multiple ways around it. First, let's cover this, the adept hopper. It's doesn't have an inventory. If you, I'm, I'm right clicking on it right now. You can't open it up. It doesn't work that way. But it does work as a hopper, like a single item hopper that it can pass items through almost instantaneously. So if I were to, let's say, drop down a bunch of uh, crafting tables, for instance, or to just drop those down, they instantly, they, they get picked. Okay, try that again in survival mode so I'm not automatically voiding those items when I drop them down. And I, I still did it again. Okay, here we go. This time, I swear, right there. There we go. So it should automatically pick those up because we've got this hopper enhancement on there. And it automatically will insert these at a much faster rate than a standard hopper would. Now, if you look, it actually shows you the inventory because, of course, I've, I've got my, my eye going on. But you can see that it has a certain amount in it. Once again, I can't right click to actually see anything. But as before, you can click to see the area. If you're using a hopper enhancement on it, it does work. You put the uh, an, an item frame of what items you want it to work with, and it will filter them out. So in this example, let's get something else. I'll grab some mechanical crafters instead, and I'll place these down. And those won't be picked up because this is currently a filtering hopper. That's the biggest benefit of the adept hopper is that it will only pick up items that you want it to pick up. You can put more frames on here and allow it to pick up more things, but in this case, it's not going to. And then, of course, I, I don't pick this up because I've got my item grounder turned on, but let me just sneak, pick these up, and I can delete them as normal. So that's kind of the advantage there. It's a little bit faster than your standard hopper. It's uh, also going to be able to filter items, which is really nice. And, of course, it can be used with a hopper enhancement, allowing you to pick things up in an area. So it's just really, really good. Now I'm going to show you how to use these plus your aura detector. We'll come to the aura detector in a moment. Let's actually cover this next bit here, which I feel like I should mention real quick. The adept hopper was a really cheap recipe. It's, it's just basically like this. But we're going to be covering the automatic constructor, which does require bottled darkness, which means you, we will have had to gone to the end in order to get this but otherwise the recipe is incredibly cheap you'll notice it has an arrow on there it also has a little bit more than that to it if you click here you'll see that it actually has like an area for it to be set up with now you're going to need ancient oak wood the to uh, accomplish this a bunch of planks and these are just like the the logs here but that arrow in the middle of course is the automatic 
constructor. I almost said uh, atomic. Anyway, uh, you place it down as such, and the arrow represents the top of a crafting grid. So if you're trying to make like a, a piece of armor, like a, a chest plate, you would craft here, 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 and then all along here, and you'd leave this spot here open. That's exactly how this works. You need to just throw items on the ground and it will craft them. In this case, let's make some sticks. I'll put one there and one there. Hopefully they're close enough to those spots and boop, there, I just made some sticks. Wow, pretty darn simple. And you notice that I'm not picking them up because of course I've got the grounder turned on. They're not being picked up by the automatic hopper because that's not been turned on either. Now, this is an automatic crafting system. You can actually have one feed into another, feed into another, feed into another, and have a whole bunch of stuff being made if you so desire. In this case, I kind of made something a little bit more vanilla-esque, but also a little bit complex. Now, if you look up here, I have a whole bunch of regular hoppers with redstone being turned on and off by a, uh, a timer up here from Dark Utilities. Yes, I'm using other mods in this. It just makes things a little bit simpler. You can make a vanilla timer uh, you know, of, of sorts, but in this case, I just wanted it to be a little bit more simple. Now, I have it being turned on and off completely by a lever, which is just giving a constant redstone signal. If I let that timer go, it will pulse once every, I think, five seconds or so. And therefore, it will allow the regular hoppers to drop down a plank of wood. I have four of them, these four here, set up to drop a plank of wood. So if I turn this off, you just wait and you'll start seeing these drop down and they get turned into something. What happened there? That's because this is also turned on, which you'll notice here. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll hover up here for a moment. You can see that the wood planks, they get turned into crafting tables, which are then getting brought into this inventory here. Uh, remember that stack that I put in there? We're going to see another one pop in. There we go. So you can see we're, we're crafting, auto crafting, these. And it's pretty darn cool at the cost of a tiny bit of aura in the area. Now, to further this, like I said, you could actually have it so that, uh, actually, let me turn that off, so that it has a default working on it. Now, if you just have these being dropped down constantly with a dropper, it's not going to work. Uh, you're going to have too many supplies. Uh, for example, if I drop down uh, half a stack of these, half a stack of these on the ground, it's, it's going to have a little bit of a problem trying to figure out that you want 32 buttons you know like wooden buttons or something like that let's let's put those down here and it'll it'll just be like I, I don't know what to do with it that many it will try but if you have a complex pattern like a bunch of wood planks uh in a, in a square or something like that it it might not understand so you're going to want to time this so that these can all be picked up properly otherwise it, it might have a little issue with that and that's that's kind of the fun of it actually uh, i mean there's more there's less in difficulty in making this than there is in setting up the whole system. It's it's a larger version of auto crafting, and it's more magical in my mind. It's really cool. Now, if you're worried about using up the aura, you've got this thing just running for a very long time, auto crafting stuff for you that you are using to power something. Who knows? Maybe this is like auto crafting, uh, like blocks of coal that you're using for fuel or something. Now, if you're worried about the aura being depleted or running too low, you can actually have this hooked up to one of these, an aura detector. An aura detector is made with infused rock, a regular environmental eye, not the ocular, and some redstone. It's very simple. And if you uh, put a compar comparator near it, near it uh, feeding off of it, it will actually give off a redstone signal showing you, you can see here it's power 3, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. It will give off power according to the amount of aura in the area. So if the aura ever drops too low in this case, this redstone signal will stop, which will turn this redstone torch back on and stop the entire crafting process. Therefore, you will no longer deplete the aura nearby. Now you can use this for multiple different ways. You can use this to activate devices that you can then uh, start replenishing the aura, or in this case, turn devices off so that they stop using the aura. But there are other ways of moving aura around if you've depleted it in this area. Because remember, the, the closer I get over here, you see down in my, the bottom right corner there, my uh, the, the meter currently is very low. So if I move a little bit over this way, the meter is very high. 
And in fact, it's getting very high over here. Well, it does move slowly by itself, migrating from one area to another, but sometimes you need to give it a little bit of a push. And that's where we get into this, the Aura Attraction Cart, which once again, you will have needed to have gone to the end to get Bottled Darkness, among other items here which are relatively mundane and should be easy to get at that point. This is the Aura Attraction Cart. You put that on here and you're going to need to hook it up with some of these activator rails. If you have a powered activator rail, it will pick up Aura in the area. If you have a deactivated activator rail, it will deposit aura in that area. So right now, you know the area that I'm at is very high aura. Just by looking in the bottom right corner there, I have like two meters completely full and it says a plus on top of that. So that's really, really strong. Now, if I go over to this area that I have, you'll notice that my aura around will drop very quickly. In fact, it's a little bit in the negatives, uh, just, just a bit, not too bad. And it's saying that I'm getting a withering effect. That's what that dead leaf is going on there. In fact, I, I might even get like a breathless effect if I continue on with this uh, path of danger and doom because I've got all these uh, machines currently working over here. And I'm, let's see, there we go. I'm just putting in a bunch of oak wood that's being burned up by a lot of extraneous fire starters. Now, to offset this, because I've got all my my stuff over here set up to create, Aura is all way over here. You can, you can use this. Like I said, we've got an activator rail here. And we are actually going to follow this item so that we can keep up with it. So let's just kind of give this a nudge. There we go. And we're going to just follow, and you can see... The, uh, the glowing area of the aura that it is bringing with it. In fact, we're going to race along ahead and try and get to this industrial zone. So you can see, because on the back side, I have an activator rail that is not activated. Therefore, it will deposit the natural aura in this area. And if you look, the aura around is actually relatively low. It's getting really high all of a sudden. Pow! It just deposited a whole lot of aura in this area. We're now topped off. So if ever you need to, you can actually set this up so that it can also activate this thing and take off, deposit a bunch of aura from one area to another, and replenish your aura as needed. It's really, really handy, really cool. A lot of ingenuity for uh, how you can have automatic setups with this. And I hope you guys enjoy. That's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys are, have been enjoying the Nature's Aura videos. I'm looking forward to future add-ons and expansions to this mod. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure as usual to give a like or a sub. And uh, always spread the mischief and check us out on Twitch. We're there most nights at 10 p.m. See you later.